What are your thoughts on cosmetic surgery and body modifications in the context of maintaining attraction in a long-term relationship? Well, ideally, like, I mean, you, you see my hair is a little thin in the front, a little thin on the top, and I like the buzz cut, like Jason Statham style. Like Bruce Willis, any guy that's comfortable in his own skin is going to be like, hey, man, if it gets too short, too thin, I'm going to shave it. And quite frankly, it, you know, I only have to shave it maybe once a week. Sometimes I let it go two weeks, and I, I do it in the shower, and all the stuff goes right down the drain. You know, in the old days when it was longer and I had it, had it grown out, I got to do a hair salon appointment. I got to call, got to make the appointment. Then I got to drive over there in 15, 20 minutes of traffic, sit down, have my appointment. You're there for an hour because, you know, then you get it washed and get all the hair off because then I got to go back to work. I don't want to have hair all over me after a hair appointment. So you're like, might be an hour and a half, two hours sometimes that it'll take out of your day. And uh, whereas five, ten minutes, I can zzz in the shower and, shh, and I'm good to go. So point being is that you accept who you are. You accept that your body's going to age and that you're going to change. And that's how I look at things. I'm personally not some dude. I have, I have friends that are a lot more vainer than I am. And, you know, these are guys, very successful, have families, hot wives, hot girlfriends. And they're getting, you know, and, you know, some of my friends that did it when we were younger, like in our late 30s and stuff, and they started getting wrinkles, were t- you know had those little inflatable things or whatever they were put in the cheeks to what? make the wrinkles go away, mm. and uh, especially people that smoked like cigarettes a lot start start get wrinkly, and then they would put these things in. And I remember one of my friends that asked, he had it like I don't know near ten or whatever it was it turned sideways on him, and so he had a it looked like he got stung by a bee or whatever. And I was I was always ripping on him about that. And he eventually you know obviously had to get him taken out, but um, he did Botox and shit like that. And I was. Like, I mean, he even did liposuction at one point because he had gotten a gut. I mean, he was working out, but there was that last little bit. He was like, Kah! he got it sucked out of there. And But at the end of the day, as he got older and he got married, he's like, he gained the weight back. So me personally, I'm going to age gracefully. The green juice is undefeated. If you take care of yourself. You do cardio. You do weight training. You don't have to be a big bulky guy. I like to say lean and mean like the great late Steve McQueen or the the late, great Steve McQueen, lean and mean like Steve McQueen, but um, take care of your body, and it'll take care of you, and like I said, I don't seem to have a problem. It's like you got, got less hair. It's like when you, when you love, love yourself, and you value yourself, and you're happy and content with where you're at, people are typically going to treat you how you see and view yourself, and not every girl's going to want to date and sleep with you, even though you should have the attitude that they do. And if they don't, whatever, you know, she missed out on a great dude. On to the next. Never let it get under your skin. Always focus on having a good time and have an attitude of positive expectation that good things are about to happen for you. That no matter how shitty things may be going today, that tomorrow's another day and it'll get better. I, th- I think personally with, like, um, all the social media and stuff going on, a lot of... Um I mean, I, like Corey said, it does affect men, too. They see other men going out, and they're like, oh, I want to look like that, but they don't want to put in the time and effort to actually look like that. They just go get it sucked out or sewn in or something like that. But with, but with women nowadays, everybody, I feel like everybody is either getting Botox or they have, you know, breast enlargements or butts put in. <laughs> lip fillers, lip, lip fillers. injections. Yeah, and it kind of makes it... It's, you start to look like a porcelain doll when you do it, especially as, you, you know, the women get older. It's like you see them everywhere. You see them on TV. Yeah. There's a plastic surgeon's off, office not too far from our office here. And it's like the doctor and all the nurses are all, you know, they, they look like <laughs> goldfish or something. You know? Yeah, they do look like goldfish. <laughs> like killer clowns from outer space. Oh I mean, honestly, a little... I personally am not down with it, but you do you, boo-boo. Honestly, a little confession on my end. I do have moments when I do, you know, when I'm on Instagram, I see all these Instagram models. I have moments of insecurity. And I think that's yeah. what influences. A lot of the especially, photos are doctored, though. Yeah, that's another thing, too. I, I do. I am aware that looks can deceive you, especially photos. 
But, you know, as a woman, you have moments where, like, you feel that, oh, my God, this girl's so much prettier than me. She has a nicer butt. She has all this kind of stuff. It does make a woman insecure, and I think it definitely does influence a lot of women to, mm -hmm. like, prompt themselves to, like, go to, like, do surgery or do, like, different types of body modifications. Like, it's definitely, like, I would say, in part, it's also a social media thing, but me, as a woman... Despite all that, I would never do any cosmetic surgeries or anything of the sort. Cause no Botox? All natural is the best. Yes, honestly. high five. Very so, nice. Um, and especially if you're doing it because you want to maintain a long-term relationship, that kind of sounds a little superficial. At the end of the day, if you're going to do cosmetic surgery, first and foremost, you do you, boo. Second, if you're going to do it, do it for yourself, not for your significant other. Because at the end of the day personality triumphs looks you know granted it's always good to leave like a really good impression you know physically you know make yourself look groomed well presentable but if you're a person you could be like the hottest dude in the world the hottest chick in the world but if your personality is shit all that for me out the window